Alright, we are going down to the beach to do some surf fishing today. We're going to an uninhabited island. We got the kayak. Um, it's gonna be a long trip here and hopefully it's good. We're looking for striped bass. We're looking for black drum. We're gonna be fishing at least a day like tomorrow and uh, hopefully this afternoon. It's 10.30 right now. We've got hours of shit to do, so driving and buying stuff. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know what today will do for us, but tomorrow we're like mainly prepping for tomorrow. I'm trying to, uh, like, then you got this guy. He's just got his left turn signal on the right lane from New Jersey. All right, we're, uh, got five dozen peelers. We waited 45 minutes for them to re-up. They're burning through peelers today. All right, we got some of this. We got some tongues, shuck and knife, nine knots. All right, peelers. Oh yeah. We've made it out to the island. We're gonna rig up. We're gonna start fishing. Wind isn't bad, it actually wasn't bad. That's what we're looking at. Uh, I'm gonna use some 12 foot, three to 10 ounce rod, and uh, suspect rod, hopefully it doesn't break. It might break. If it does break, I got this. The only reason I say it might break is because it broke last time I used it and I super glued it. Just a guide, just a guide. Oh no, got the conventional just in case. Not spikeable. There's so many shells underneath, like six inches and then shells. He's bitching, folks. You can't get the spike in. Yeah, you can break those shells. Yeah, uh, yeah even your. Oh shit, you have anywhere. scissors? Uh, really? Hopefully, I have scissors. Split ring pliers. That's how we're gonna do this. Right, here goes nothing. Kind of a scrimpy looking bait. Should cast pretty well. We gotta dial in here. We don't know the spots. We don't know anything. Oh, we know. We know a little bit. We know a little bit. Uh, the wind is cutting back our casting distance, but like hopefully we can catch fish like regardless. We're just gonna, we're just gonna keep Keep casting, keep soaking some baits. All right, we haven't had any bites yet. Like no skates, no dogfish. Just like little kingfish and croakers. We're gonna fish till like 10 o'clock. And then again tomorrow. All right, well, we skunked out there. We didn't even get a skate or a dogfish. Uh, there was just like a bunch of little bullshit fish biting and that was it. Uh, we're gonna go try a different spot for tomorrow. We're gonna paddle, it's gonna be like a much longer paddle, but should be better odds, potentially. I don't know how good that spot was we were just at, but uh, didn't produce at dusk. I don't know if they're really there. So we're gonna like try elsewhere tomorrow. I don't know what's gonna happen today, but like I like this weather, I tell you that right now, 58 degrees. A little bit of, a little bit of smog in the atmosphere this morning. Oh yeah, we're just getting loaded up here, just about ready to launch. Another day, another island. We'll see what this island can do for us here. Running back there, pushing our stuff along. Maybe today we'll get lucky and catch a fish. We're fishing. Oh shit. I think I just had a, I definitely just had a bite. Oh, I've popped him off. 
was a bite. All right, well, we're worried about the weeds here. Brennan casted his flounder jig out, like instantly got weeded up. And all right, it looks like the weeds are manageable. Yeah, they took my crab, all right. Definitely some weeds, but like, I don't know how bad the weeds are. They're not like crippling, but interesting, very interesting. A skate, okay, okay. Brennan got a skate. Oh boy, I really hope this freaking works. All right, trying to keep a positive attitude here, but this is not what you want to see. This is really, really bad. Fucking shark, shark, shark. It's gotta be a ray. It's gotta be a ray. All right, I don't think this is anything good. It was oh it was a shark Fuck, he took my rig or something no he didn't he popped off hmm okay we got something going on here now that wasn't a shark i think it was i think it was a stingray that didn't like seem game fishy at all i mean he's taking drag huh oh yeah okay <laughs> running's on though or a, or a ray. Yep, yep. That's what they do. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Cow knows. Don't let him go. Go live a healthy, happy life, my friend. Oh yeah. Might be. Might be drum. Might be Ray. Might be drum though. Oh dude, this is a fucking drum. Yeah. Like, yeah. Drum, son. Yeah, it's a little one. That thing was biting like a toe tog, dude. All right, fuck yeah. Nothing too crazy here, but like, desirable species that were, we consider desirable. Us Pennsylvania people. That's cool. A little pup. I'll take a little pup. Oh shit. Probably like a uh, like hardly even 15 pounder. We're just gonna let him go. All right, well that's the uh, pretty much what we're targeting here is these black drum, and uh, that's a little one. Whoa! There he goes. Sweet. All right, we got one. All right, the rays and the skates are biting quick, so I put on a smaller hook, seven knot hook. I'm just gonna start using half a crab. Try to save our bait here. We were fishing two rods to start, but like that's just never gonna happen again because it's just so much going on, so much weeds, so many bites from undesirable fish. So we're just gonna stick with one rod 
Now we're using half crabs. Getting some bites. Kingfish bites. It's like a lot of little kingfish or croakers nipping at our baits. Oh no. The only thing I'm worried about now is the wind. You know, we got a long paddle back through open water. And like, it's gonna be real rough. It's gonna suck. Look at this fucking. Did we get it? Did we get the kingy? I think we missed him. I don't know. He was acting like he was hooked. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got a kingy. So that's the kingfish. That's exactly what I thought was biting us. And uh, I'm gonna like just do something stupid and throw them out live on this rod. You know, striper, like red drum. I don't know, some kind of large predatory fish might eat this. You know, who knows? But this rod's just sitting here doing nothing. So we might as well do something with it. Send out the kingy. He ain't gonna go far either. He's not going far out there. Just far enough. Let's see what that does, if that does anything. All right, we'll try it. Can't hurt to try. Interesting bite. Probably a ray. Yep, definitely a ray. Oh God. All right, we gotta get this thing in landed cause something's hitting my kingfish. Something's hitting my kingy. Ain't nothing like a cow nose on a $2 crab. Oh no, you don't, son. Let's see what's going on with this king, this kingfish. Lots of slack, lots of slack. I don't know, I think that fish is gone. We'll see, we'll see. Mm. Oh, we got the bait out. All right, well, we're throwing the same bait out. This bait is looking pretty toasted. But, should be good enough. This kingfish just got bit again. Probably a ray or a skate. Like, we'll be surprised. I won't be surprised if, like, a skate ate that kingfish. Or a ray. But we're going to see. We're going to find out. He's got it. <clears throat> we got him. It's, like, definitely a skate. Oh shit, no, whatever it was the first time bit the kingfish in half. Damn. That would have been like a bluefish. Or a shark. Interesting. Yeah, our king got sliced. Sliced. Damn, if there's bluefish out here, I don't have anything to like plug and jig blues with. Kingfish head here is getting uh, getting bit. Take it, take it, take it. That's a what is that? Bluefish. Bluefish. 
bluefish. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's the little bluefish. I don't know how we hooked him. I'd have thought he would have been a little bigger than that. All right, we're just gonna leave this uh, out of the water for a while. I got something. It's not a skate. It's gonna be a little kingfish. Hey. 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 We'll send him out on the live bait rod. At least we've got like peak incoming to ride. We got peak incoming to ride back. Like as strong as the tide's gonna get. Weeds? Yeah. Yeah, the weeds have like gotten pretty bad and the wind is like stronger so we're just gonna leave now it's like it's like one we got out here at nine so we gave it five hours so i don't know all right we're getting ready to go back out there it's gonna be spooky i don't know I don't like the roughness it's gonna be rough not the best fishing trip, not the worst fishing trip. Um, I understand when I come down to the south that it's going to be a grind. It's going to be tough, but there is sometimes, you know, it pays off. Sometimes the southern trip pays off. Usually it's bad, but like every now and then you get lucky and it's really good. And this was one of those times where it wasn't really good. I did catch one of the target species. Small, not enough to like make an impact or like remember too fondly this trip. But we are gonna take one more shot at Black Drum on the way home. Uh, we're not gonna be fishing until about dark, dusk. We're gonna fish for three hours. We've still got bait. We're gonna fish three hours and uh, maybe probably won't get shit. So this is the end of the video. We stayed at the dock for like an hour just now. There was fish popping at the dock that we thought were specks, and it turns out they were hickory shad. It took us like 40 minutes to catch one. Uh, they were eating grass shrimp. I don't know, it would've been cooler if I just filmed all that. And with that, I don't know if I'm really gonna make a video out of this or not, but if we do, then thanks for watching. I mean, not every trip is gonna be a banger, you know, so. We're gonna just uh, keep on keeping on. I'll catch you guys next time.